What's going on YouTube? Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, we start off with a great big thank you to all of our men and women in all branches of service. Thank you so much for doing what you do so the rest of us are free to do what we do. Okay, so we're going to talk today about this little mod here, the Cuboid by Joytech. Um, I've used it for three weeks. Three weeks solid. Um, I, use, I go between this and my Segeli. Those are the two mods that I currently have. So this has been used every single day. Um, so I, I feel comfortable talking on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive down, take a quick look up close to it, and come back up, give them my thoughts, and we'll get you guys out of here. All right, so here we are down up close with the cuboid. I have mine in the silver or stainless or whatever it is you want to call it. Um, came on. It's, we're going to turn it off. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but you see how that screen is all kind of scratched, that plastic? Mine arrived like that, um, so I don't know if that's just the way they package them or what's going on there. But so simple, nice and easy, spring loaded 510. Um, seems to be just a little picky sometimes. Um, my uh, my ice cube, I will get a atomizer short on there fairly often, um, which is really quite a bummer because um, I really think they look good together, but um, is what it is. It seems to be more picky about um, how clean it is. Once I've cleaned up the connections, um, it seems to work okay. But other than that, it works good. Everything I have sits down, makes a connection. We're gonna go through the menu really quick. Providing I can turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Um, simple, easy to use. The, uh, let's see, one, oops, one, two, three. You can see the power's flashing. If we hit the right button, it will change your functions. We were in power, temp nickel. Temp Titanium, Temp Stainless Steel, TCR1, back to power. Hit it again, comes down to your amps. You can scroll through puff counter, time, back to amps. I always leave it on amps. I've 90% of the time used this in power mode. Um, the little bit that I've played with um, temperature control, I'm just not a temperature control guy. I don't like the way it, the power fluctuates up and down. Um, I just I just want a nice warm, dense vape. Um, now the power or the temperature mode seems to work pretty decent in this. Um, in nickel, um, it seemed to work. In stainless, it seemed to uh, it seemed to work. Um, like I said, the little bit that I've used temp control, I'm just not a fan. Um, Really, that's that's about it on how how much you use on this. It's a right button and right button and left button. It doesn't have an up and a down. Nothing is marked. Um, it would have been nice if they would have at least had you know arrows on them for up and down or right and left. Um, but you know that's that's that is what it is. It's sold as a. Um, 150 but I've already done the update so now it does 200 it scrolls ridiculously fast two hundred so once you get close it's easier to just hit the button I got lucky. I, I've been running my Griffin at 53. So, you know, oh, here, battery door. Hit the little notch. Flips open. 
nice and easily uh, easily marked so you can see what you got it drops right in um, I've noticed that you need to press down on this store really well otherwise the the latch only comes about halfway like that and um, so if we push on it now it clicks the rest of the way one of the reviews I watched I think it was uh, Matt suck my mod um, he had his batteries fall out um, so because I've seen that I've just always make sure that I press down and make sure that that's latched I've had zero issues um, that's about it nice clicky buttons all right let's get back up top vape it talk on it and get you guys out of here okay so there is a quick look at the cuboid by joytech um it uh it's been a good solid device for me so far uh, i forgot to touch in the close-up the usb on the side here is for um, firmware upgrades, like I said, I already upgraded mine. It was super easy. Um, no charging. You should never charge two batteries inside of any kind of device. It should be done in a charger. So they don't even give you the option to do it. I don't believe. Anyways. Um, nice clicky buttons. Like I said in the close-up, I wish that the um, the up down or the left right was marked but nice clicky buttons they work really well nothing rattles it doesn't shake nothing moves around it feels really well constructed it, I mean it fits good in the hand you can easily hit it with your thumb flip it around finger the mod um, the the stainless is a bit of a fingerprint magnet um, it scratches up just a little bit but you know that is what it is um, something I forgot to mention in the close-up is this screen is nice and bright and easy to read inside outside in any kind of natural sunlight it is a total bitch to see this screen you're constantly trying to stick it under your shirt or cover the light and see what you've got um, Adjusting this in natural sunlight, this screen sucks. That is one of two cons I have for this device. Um, the other con being that this device gives me more atomizer shorts than any mod that I have used. Now that's not a ton, it doesn't happen all the time, um, but it seems to be a little bit more picky on how clean your connection is. Um, if I get an atomizer short, I pull off my tank or RDA, clean up the 510 on both the tank and the device, put it back together, works fine. Um, as long as you can get it good down and tight. Now, round devices, doesn't matter, you tighten it right down. I wish I'd have done this in the close-up, but I forgot. If I grab my cuboid, this was... This was the setup that I was looking for when I ordered these. I actually ordered these at the same time. If we get it like that, man, that combo looks good. But with that, this being slightly more picky on how tight your device is, see, we're, we're down here. This looks good, nice and square, but uh, now it's tight. Now I get less atomizer shorts but my square device is no longer, my square atomizer is no longer square to the device, which sucks. So I have not used this combo a ton because that's the way I have to make it look to get less atomizer shorts. Now, if you're not using a square device, then it doesn't matter. So we pull this back off, throw my Griffin back on, Tighten it back down real quick, nice and tight. Barely any atomizer short issues. Like I said, if I have an atomizer short issue, you just clean up those 510 connections, it goes away, works fine. Um, so, let's see, yeah, the atomizer short issue, um, I, I've I think I may have had an atomizer short issue once on my Segeli, and I've had it a handful of times on this device. That and that screen is stupid hard to see in any kind of natural sunlight. Those are my two cons. Um, I think I shook it 
you know, no battery rattle, nice clicky buttons, nice easy menu, good solid device, feels really well constructed, it's heavy, um, it feels more expensive than it is. My Segeli, you still find them all over the place for 60 bucks. This was 40 bucks, $38 I think is what I paid for it. So, man, that, it just, for 38 bucks, it just, it, it feels well, it seems to be well constructed, it works really well, no problems with temp control. My stand is falling over. Okay, we're gonna switch this around. sliding okay my face is no longer melting um <laughs> anyways good solid device I really like the way it performs I like the way it feels for the price uh, I feel like you're getting way more um, than you're paying for I would I would totally buy this again um, Grimm has his aliens game, aliens come down, steal all his vape gear. Would he seek out and purchase? So I've been playing with two ideas for my version of an aliens game. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not as big of a sci-fi geek as I think he is. Um, you know, more of an action adventure type guy or something. I don't know. So the two ideas I have are: it's the zombie apocalypse, and you know, so now I'm out there fighting for my life and all that kind of crap, like, you know, The Walking Dead or whatever, and I walk into an undisturbed vape store that has everything. Out of the things that I have tried, is this something that I would look for in that store? And out of the things that I've tried, I would totally look for this device because it, uh, it just performs really, really well. Now... The other idea that I have is that uh, there is an evil band of vaping ninjas. Why ninjas? Because I did karate when I was a kid and I think ninjas are awesome and they're sneaky bastards. So they sneak in and they steal all of my vape gear. Is the cuboid something that I would seek out and purchase again? Because I've already purchased it once. Yes. The answer is yes. I would totally seek out and purchase this. Um, I really like it. It works really well. It's cheap. It feels way more expensive than it is. I would recommend this. I would buy it again. That's what I got. So let me know in the comments what you think of my, uh, uh, my two ideas, which one you like better. And uh, let's build safe. Let's vape safe. We'll see you next time.